everyone, it's Brittany from the New Carnegie Library and I'm back with another family friendly activity and craft where today we'll be making our own bubble wands and bubble solution. We're gonna make our wands first, so let's see what we'll need. To make your wands, you'll just need three things. Pipe cleaners, your choice of beads, and then this is optional, but it makes it a lot easier to make your shapes, some small to medium sized cookie cutters. Okay, so to get started, you're just going to take your pipe cleaner and fold it in half like I've done right here. And then I've just um, folded the little pointy end, at the bottom and twisted it to make a little handle so it's nice and smooth and my beads won't fall off. And I'm just going to choose the beads I want and start threading them on here. If you're doing this with littles and their hand-eye coordination isn't great, or maybe your bead holes are a little bit smaller, um, you can just thread them on a single um, pipe cleaner and it'll work just fine. It just won't be quite as stable, but you can just bend it up and hold it and it'll be fine. So it's a good option. and I'm just gonna keep threading these. I'm gonna make another one, so I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, so now it's time to make the top of our bubble wand. So for this, I'm just gonna take a regular straight pipe cleaner and a cookie cutter, like this, and I'm going to form it around. Now this would be a lot easier if I was um, doing this on the table, but so you can see, we'll do it like this. We're just gonna form it around. like so, and this is a great um, opportunity if you have multiples for them to help. So like one can hold it on the pipe cleaner while they, the other one wraps it around. So I'm just gonna connect this together, this one piece. And I'm gonna go ahead and, because I want this to connect at the bottom of my heart, just keep wrapping it around just like that. And it's okay if it becomes unformed a little bit because I'll show you the trick to get it back into the shape we want. All right, so now I'm ready to attach it to my top and I'm just gonna do it by twisting it around my base. And now, because it can't get a little disfigured because I'm maneuvering it and it's a pipe cleaner, I'm just gonna put it back over my cookie cutter and press it around. So it fits on really nicely and just push it in to the shape we want. This is where using pressure is really good. And that's usually not a problem with kids because they like to press and move and make sure it's really good in there. And you're just gonna slide it off carefully. And boom, we have a heart-shaped bubble wand. All right, it is time for bubble solution. So to make your bubble solution, you will just need sugar, a whisk and a bowl, a tablespoon, some dish soap. You're gonna want something like Dawn or palm olive. You're not gonna to wanna to go with the natural things because they're not gonna have the um, sulfates in them which help make stuff lather and bubbly. It just may not work as well. And then some warm water. All right, so to make a warm bubble solution, we're gonna start with two tablespoons of sugar. Now, a lot of bubble recipes will call for glycerin instead of sugar. Uh, most folks don't have glycerin at home, so I thought we'd do something we could just use with pantry ingredients, but by all means, there's lots of recipes out there that use glycerin. They make really awesome bubbles. You can find it, grab it, use it, have some fun um, another day. And then we're going to add in four tablespoons of warm water just to help the sugar dissolve a little bit faster. So three and four. And then one tablespoon of dish soap. All right, now we're gonna whisk all this up. Everyone, I am outside. I have my bubble solution. I just whisked this until all the sugar was dissolved. And I have my wands here, my heart and my flower, and I'm ready to blow some bubbles. Let's see how this works. In. And because we use the pipe cleaner, it bends really easily. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at all those bubbles! So fun. 
All right, so, so to, add, to add an extra layer of fun, because you know I like layers of fun, a lot of places will suggest to put a winter glove and try to catch some bubbles. Well, we're in Georgia, so we don't all have winter gloves just laying around. So I'm gonna try a nice soft sock. Um, hello, hello everyone. So I'm gonna take my bubble wand and dip it in. See if I can catch a bubble. So many bubbles! Also, if you're worried about your kids getting sticky because it does have sugar in it, um, blow bubbles in the bathtub. Who doesn't want a bubble bath? Literally. <laughs> All right, I hope you'll give this a try. Make some bubble wands. Try to hold, catch some bubbles with a sock on your hand. And just have a good time. We'll see you soon for another video.